Assets are added to the system manually in a couple of ways. A user can drag and drop to upload, or use the top menu option to drag and drop in the designated window. In both cases, the user can upload different types of assets at once, including raw photography and video formats in any orientation. It is typical that upon ingest, the uploader provides metadata information which can be required. The uploader itself can survive temporary loss of internet connection and can be paused or canceled. Media Beacon uses AWS for its infrastructure and can handle an enormous amount of upload data. Thus, the connection speed is a key factor in the upload performance. Depending on your config, uploaded files may be quarantined either for everyone or only for certain groups of users. This means the files are able to be inspected for quality and metadata before they are released for general search. Media Beacon checks each asset preview and compares it to assets already in the system. The user is notified if a duplicate is found so they can fix the issue. To do this, the system uses code comparison based on the pixels in each rendered preview image. The assets that users have access to depends on the group you belong to and your user configuration. Let's look at the group example. Here, as a salesperson in the US, I have access to released, non-expired brochures in English. But in the marketing group, where I need to see past and future assets, potentially expired and unreleased, I will see all of the brochures, including all of the different regions. For assets with terms and conditions, we can set an orange flag in the corner and ensure that the user checks the uh, agreement box before they can download. A receipt is kept of this transaction. And for advanced rights functionality, Media Beacon integrates with Fidel that will check specific permissions. Users can create saved selection of assets in Media Beacon. Simply select some assets and click Create. Once created, we can add or remove to these sets simply by dragging and dropping assets to or from these collections. Light editing of imagery can be done right in Media Beacon. For instance, I can choose different aspect ratios for cropping an image, or freely choose the boundaries without restrictions. I'm also able to rotate the image. With the image cropped and rotated, I can save it as a new version. I can also create different color and light adjusted versions of my imagery. In the editor, I can choose from several preset filters for a quick preset adjustment. Or, I can manually adjust the lighting and color. Either way, a new version of the image can be saved and used. For common asset conversions, quick links are placed in a dropdown on the asset preview. There, a user can simply choose a pre-configured conversion and it will immediately process and download to local storage. The config may allow certain groups of users to access an advanced list of conversions or to create completely custom ones. We can choose format, resolution, color space, and so on, then click to download. This can be performed on a group of assets too. As for video, one or more clips can be added to a timeline, trimmed by head and tail, and exported as either a new clip or a small reference asset. When applying metadata to assets, you can use the power of AI to automate descriptive tags. The tags are saved in the Keywords field and make the images easier to find. Here's an example of how to find and replace specific metadata. I search for the bad term, MB, in the company name, which is short for Media Beacon. I want to replace this, so I select all of those results and type Media Beacon in the company field and choose to replace. Pretty easily, using my search and bulk editing features, I was able to replace one value for another. As a marketing user, I want to download a brochure for one of my brands. As brochures are a big part of my marketing role, I already have a workspace for them I can go to. Notice all of the assets shown are already brochures. Now I can use the filters to choose my brand, my year, and finally my language. I double click on the asset to ensure it's the one I need and click download. As a business user, 
I'm looking for a photo and will need it in a particular file format. I start by clicking Search All Assets. Then I choose Photography in the Asset Type filter. I'm looking for a photo with water in it, so I type in water in the quick search. MediaBeacon gives me some type ahead suggestions as I type. I find the photo that I want. Now I choose the format I'd like to download it in. When the conversion is finished, the photo is automatically downloaded to my computer. Designers using the Adobe Creative Suite can also use MediaBeacon expansive search capabilities. You can target particular fields or type into the quick search to include all available information. You can enable users to share assets to an external party. After selecting the assets, create an external share link. You can modify the expiration date and even how many times the link can be used. The recipient will see your terms and conditions, the amount of assets they're about to download, and their total size. You may also create a portal where via link, users can view shared assets and download only the assets they require. These portals can automatically expire, display custom branding, and are published with either view only or view and download permissions. These portals reside outside of your DAM system as a MediaBeacon managed web page. Making annotations and comments in MediaBeacon is built in. Simply mark the area on the asset and type your text. Tag someone in your comment and they will receive an email of your annotation and be given a link directly to the asset. Contact sheets are PDFs with thumbnails of assets and usually some metadata information about the assets. They are a common way of sharing information about multiple assets within a single document. You can easily create them in MediaBeacon by selecting the assets and clicking Create Contact Sheet. Here you can add a title, description, and choose the type of contact sheet you'd like to create. Your contact sheet will be a downloadable PDF you can share with others. When manually publishing data or assets to any other channel, in this case YouTube, I select the asset and click Publish. You may then be required to apply additional metadata and schedule the date and time for the distribution to take place later. In this case, I'll leave that blank and post right now. Here I can see the video posted on YouTube. The privacy settings are those I've designated in the form in MediaBeacon. The MediaBeacon UI can be configured to look customized for your specific groups. Common UI settings are configured in the Workspace Configuration screen. The placement and specific setup of components is performed directly on the Workspace by dragging and dropping the components in the drop zones. And there are dozens of pre-configured components ready for you to use in your workspaces, making creating workspaces and configuring the UI a quick and easy process that does not require a computer science degree to use. When you purchase a Media Beacon Dam, you are buying from a trusted partner to many of the world's top companies. A team of competent trainers, installers, and professional services stand behind our product and provide your team with all of the knowledge and support you need. Our global support team is on call to answer your tough questions and help you achieve the most with your dam. In addition to training, your admins will receive during implementation, certification training is available every quarter for your administrators and power users. With expansive documentation, training resources, videos, and our knowledge base, you can find answers to many of your questions quickly.